Hi, I'm Mark Street and I work for Liberator Limited in the UK. In this video, I want to share with you how we use the Accent 1430 device with the iGaze Look. It's the new iGaze to go with the 1430 series. I want to show you the importance of setting it up correctly. Positioning is absolutely vital when it comes to setting up iGaze. I'm using a floor stand here so it allows me to position it in any way. You might want to use a desk stand and have it onto a table, but you certainly wouldn't want to just have the device resting on a table. Position is really, really important. So a couple of things I want to start off with is, first of all, you have a menu, a home or a tools button. It's this white button at the bottom of the screen. Or you can press this cogwheel. That's also the menu, the home or the tools button. And by pressing that button once, it will bring up these menus here, those seven menus. I can then go into toolbox. And by going into toolbox, it allows me to change the access method. And the access method can be found under this menu here. This allows me to change it so I activate eye gaze. I'm currently using touch, so I'm changing access method, and I'm going to select eye gaze. Now, the first thing I want to do when we're looking at eye gaze is look at the position of the clients. And I do this by going into the eye gaze positioning. And here, this gives me a window and shows me where the client is. Now, I'm looking for dots to appear in the top here, in the side, and also here. Now, I can see that the client is not focused on the device, so I'm gonna bring the device down slightly, and then I'm gonna make some adjustments. So already I can see that I've brought it down enough so the position and height is correct. The device is not quite ideal, although it's almost center. Now again, it can be anywhere between these black lines, and this is perfect. You'll see that the eyes are active on screen. If I cover one eye, you'll see that it's now going off, and if I cover the other, you'll see that's going off as well. So it's showing both eyes. The distance is a little bit too far, so I'm gonna bring the device or the client closer to it. As I bring that client closer or make, make adjustments, remember, it will make adjustments here and here too. If your box isn't red like this, and it may be green, that's because you're active on the screen. Just tap it once and it will go red. So now I've set the device up, it's in the perfect or the ideal position to calibrate for the client. Before I go ahead and calibrate, I'm gonna go into Customize Eye Gaze Settings. I'm gonna go into the calibration settings itself and just show you the preferred or the ideal settings there. I've got this set to 0.2. I've got the stimulus size set to 40. Both eyes are active. The calibration speed is very fast. The stimulus size, um, sound is a beep, that's fine. Keyboard step through, no and five calibration points. If I want to make it fewer calibration points, I can just press the arrow here, and it takes it down to two. Maybe you try that first, and then take it to a calibration of five at a later step. So now I'm gonna leave mine on five, and I'm gonna press OK. Before I go ahead and calibrate now though, I'm just gonna press OK once more, because it's important that I check that the client is still in the right position. I'm happy with that, and so now we're gonna do a calibration and I'm gonna stand away from the device so it doesn't catch my eyes. There we go. We're gonna calibrate the middle point. We've got four additional points to go. Three, two, and one. And that's the device calibrated. It'll come up with an indicator of left and right eye to show you where they are. Left eye is green, right eye is blue. Just press OK for me, press OK again, and press OK again. And we should be ready to start using eye gaze. Now there is a red line here, and in fact the device user or client can actually look up themselves at this button and activate the screen and it will select and allow them to select or dwell on screen. Or I can press this little button here that pauses and resumes it. So if you can go to drink for me. Drink. And if you go back into drinks again, what drink do you like? Tea. You like tea. Okay, if you go back to close here for me, and go back to eat. Eat. Maybe you could tell me some food that you like. 
crisps. So you can see that works really nicely. And I'm just going to yeah. get Oscar here to go to the top corner, to this corner, to this corner, and to this corner. And that works really nicely. So we've calibrated really well. I'm just going to pause that out again. So hopefully you can see the importance of setting up eye gaze. Positioning is essential. It needs to be in the right position and ideally set up and calibrated well. I hope you found this video useful and if you need any further information, don't hesitate to contact us at Liberator on 01733 370 470. Thanks for watching.